In this video, we're going to use Python to answer phone calls. Yes, here's an example of it in action. Hi, welcome to the Tony Teaches Tech Voice mailbox. Please subscribe, then leave me a message. Goodbye. Hey Tony, this is Tony. I really like your channel. I'll see you later. I'm going to assume that you already have a Twilio account and a server to host the Python code on. If not, check out my previous video to get set up with that. Otherwise, let's hop right on into it. Open up app.py from the previous video and let's make another root at slash voice that handles post requests. Pair this with a function called voice and then instantiate a voice response object, which we'll have to import from the Twilio library. Create an audio variable that we want our voicemail to speak and then pass this into the voice responses say function, specifying that we want a male voice. Next, call the record function to record the voice message followed by the hangup function to end the call. Finally, we'll return the voice response object as a string. Save your changes and then go ahead and start up the Flask app. At this point, we need to tell Twilio about our webhook. Open up your Twilio dashboard and go to phone numbers, active numbers, click on your phone number, and under the voice and fax section, replace the default webhook with your domain or IP address, colon 5000 slash voice. Make sure you accept the emergency calling terms and conditions. And as you can see here, it's probably a good idea to add an emergency address as well. Finally, click save. Now, when someone calls the Twilio phone number, Twilio will execute our Flask webhook, which will convert the text to speech for the caller, record their response, and then hang up. Let's try it out. With a Python app running, I'm going to dial the Twilio phone number, and notice how we Hello, see the post Tony request come in when the phone call connects. Subscribe and leave me a message. Hey, Tony, this is Tony. I really like your channel. Thanks and goodbye. When I hang up after leaving the voice message, we see the final post request. To see the voice message, back in your Twilio account, click on monitor, logs, then call recordings. This most recent recording contains the message that I just left, and as you can see, you have the option to download the audio as a wave or MP3 file. Hey Tony, this is Tony. I really like your channel. Thanks and goodbye. Also notice how the cost of the recording was one quarter of a cent. In addition to that, the call itself cost 0.85 cents. Full details of Twilio voice pricing can be found at twilio.com slash pricing. We really only scratched the surface of what you can do with the Twilio voice API. Take a look at the Twimmel API, which allows for the voice of a man, woman, and over 50 Amazon poly voices in multiple languages. Give me a call at the Twilio number that I used in this video and leave me a voicemail. If I get enough comments and voicemails about interest in this topic, I'll definitely make some more videos. Now, the server that we set up in this video is a development server, but if you want to learn how to make it a production-ready server, then check out this video next.